Hey everybody, welcome to five beginner double bass songs. In this class, I've put together five songs that I think you're gonna absolutely love to get rolling on double bass. Now, we've picked these because they're fairly easy patterns while still actually being super cool. There's some tempos that may sound crazy coming up, but I guarantee you're gonna be able to jump into these. It's just full of super fun stuff. Let's dive right in. This first song, you're gonna freak out when I tell you the tempo. It's way over 200 BPM, and I promise you're gonna be able to play it, and probably within the next maybe like five minutes. Check this out, this is Motley Crue's Red Hot. It's at 238 BPM. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have quarter notes with the hand on a ride bell. We're also gonna play our snare drum on two and four as usual, and straight up eighth notes on the kick. You already can do this, we just gotta get it up to speed. Let's see what it sounds like in the context of the ride symbol, and then we'll put it together with the click. So, let's see what it sounds like with the click, and we'll work our way up to album tempo. One, two, three, four. See? Nothing to it. Let's pick it up. One, two, one, two, three, four. So let's jump into that next tune. Next up we have Metallica's Four Horsemen. This has a really cool eighth triplet double bass sort of almost gallopy burst type of thing. It's basically half of one, but we'll get to that at a later date. Check this out. We're gonna have one triplet, three triplet, triplet. That's what your kicks are gonna do. And as usual, up until now we've had just rock beat hands. No different. Check it out, this is what it sounds like. No problem, right? Let's try it out with a click. One, two, three, four. And now let's pick it up to the album tempo of 196. One, two, one, two, three, four. All right, so those last two were kind of burners. We had crazy tempo, some super high energy stuff. This next one is more groovy and syncopated and funky. Now we're gonna check out Disturbed's Down With The Sickness. So we've got a really interesting syncopated double kick pattern with a cool offbeat snare drum shot at the end of it. Before I show you what this thing sounds like, let's just see exactly what our kicks are gonna do for this rhythm. This is what we have here. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So let's see what this sounds like after we put together our hands. We've got a typical eighth note type rock beat, but like I said, we've got an extra snare shot on the uh of beat four that interacts nicely with the syncopated double bass phrase. And now let's see what it sounds like together with the metronome at the actual album tempo. All right, so the next groove that we're gonna check out is from Pantera's Domination. This again is gonna have those big open quarter note rock hands underneath a cool syncopated 16th note double kick pattern. Now, here's the deal. This is a four bar phrase. The first three bars are exactly the same as each other. We've got four kicks on one E and a, and that's it as far as what the kicks are doing. 
When we get to the final bar, though, we're gonna have kicks over the first half entirely and then some cool offbeat shots. Let me just show you what all this sounds like before we put it together with a metronome. And now let's see what this sounds like with the metronome. The fun thing about this groove is that once you get to that final bar, it goes from this, you know, just driving, cool, sort of typical sounding double bass thing to now we've got something that requires a little bit more endurance. We've got these offbeat shots. It almost messes with your balance a little bit if you're unprepared for it as you launch into that the first time. It's a really fun pattern to get the hang of. Anyway, the next one that we're gonna take a look at is from Dream Theater's Under a Glass Moon. We've got a really cool syncopated 16th note rhythm. Now, what's neat about this is that we don't have just our normal rock beat hands this time. There's, you know, a typical backbeat on our first beat too, but then he starts throwing things onto the offbeat. It's all sorts of craziness. Let's just go slow and check out bar one, and then we'll check out bar two separately. So on its own, bar one sounds like this. It's a cool pattern, even on its own. Now, the second bar is also pretty neat, but it's got a whole bunch more snare drums. Check this out. Now, the whole pattern together sounds like this. Now let's hear what this sounds like with a click at the album tempo. One, two, three, four. All right, so that wraps it up for our five beginner double bass songs. Now, this is the list that I picked that I thought was gonna be perfect for all of you starting out into double kickery, but that's definitely not all of the cool double bass beginner songs that are out there. So let us know in the comments below, what's some stuff that I missed? Are there some great beginner double bass songs out there that you know and love jamming to? Tell us all about it, and I'll see you guys inside the next video. Later.